Hi, this is Pamela and Greg. We are here in Carroll Stream, Illinois at the Blue Book Services headquarters where uh, we've been having some meetings, but also we've been writing some stories this week for the Produce Reporter newsletter. Uh, you had a big story, uh, California cherries, it's not good news. What's going on? Oh, well, nice to see you in person. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> California cherries had a terrible week or two. They were expecting a bumper crop this year after a pretty bad crop last year. They were expecting over 10 million cartons and they even got going in May and shipped as much as a million cartons last week. And then the rains came this week and just- mm, Yeah, it's over. It's, yeah. They expect crop losses uh, anywhere between 50% in some of the regions that didn't get hit as bad to more than two thirds in some of the other regions. So it's not looking good. It's looking like it'll be a lot smaller crop. And what happens with cherries is the rain gets in and into the trees and it starts to grow really fast and it ends up splitting the skin and then they become not worth harvesting. So a real bummer. Um, but the Washington crop is just around the corner and at this point they're still expecting a good one there. Yeah. Well, both of us have been in Chicago this week and we've definitely gone on our share of retail visits. Yeah. So yeah. I know you have a little update on yeah. what you find out at Whole Foods. Yeah. So Whole Foods had a well-publicized press release this week about reducing plastic in, and the headliner was that they're eliminating straws by July. Um, and Greg, you, you know, I've been, I've been on the uh, straw elimination um, gang for quite a while. I've got silicone, I've got st stainless steel, but another little thing that they buried in the news release is that they were going to downsize their produce bags um, and also put rotisserie chickens in a bag. Unfortunately, we didn't find that. <laughs> yeah, I looked for that because I wanted that to show. sounds <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it sounds like an awful <laughs> idea. I don't know about bagged chicken. And the best thing uh, about a rotisserie chicken is picking the skin off, right? I know. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I'm from Missouri. Uh, I grew up there. Missouri's motto is show me, right? The show me state. So I, I live want, in Missouri, so I'm with you there. I wanted to see how these new bags stack up because actually this was an initiative that was announced that earlier this year that they were going to reduce the size of their produce bags. So I did some store store check-in here in uh, suburban Chicago and there was actually a brand new Whole Foods and a brand new Pete's. And so here's the Whole Foods bag. It's green, right? And I thought, let's see how that stacks up. Hold these for me, Vanna. Uh, let's see how these stack up against every other bag out there. So. Whole Foods versus Pete's, we noticed that it was about an inch to an inch and a half smaller. And then we had one Caputo's. Caputo's. So Angelo Caputo's, fantastic hot bar, by the way, for lunch. We went there a couple of times this week. We did. It's very good. Um, we got about two inches here smaller than Angelo Caputo's. And then I have a Jewel, Jewel Osco, which I, that's Pete's. Let me have the other one. Um, I hear in Chicago they call it Jules. Um, I grew up here for a little while, uh, kindergarten and first grade. Um, and this was actually the biggest difference. There was like two inches of difference between the Jewel and the Whole Foods bag. Does that seem like a big, huge difference in the amount of plastic on these bags? That seems very small to me. Seems a little small to me too. And, and this kind of goes along with something that I've been reading about, about a lot of the initiatives, the price lowering initiatives are quickly debunked by investment uh, analysts. And they go through and they have their, their store check basket size and they keep going back. And every time that Whole Foods announces lower prices, they debunk it. And they say, uh, you know, I'm really not sure that there was actually a measurable impact on price and I'm really like the whole initiative that includes the straws it includes the chicken bags and it includes these plastic bags is totaling 800,000 pounds of reduced plastic per year at Whole Foods so this inch of plastic is a very small part of it but the marketing return on investment that they got out of this, the number of headlines that they got out of being the first national retailer to uh, kill plastic straws chain wide was huge, huge. And to be able to legitimately and factfully say they reduced the size of their bags 
Whether or not this actually has a noticeable difference in the amount of plastic use and the amount of environmental impact from minimizing the plastic use is still up in the air. The so. important thing is making consumers feel good about themselves. <laughs> Nice, good. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the Week in Review. Uh, stay tuned for more from the Produce Reporter newsletter. And if you are not getting the Produce Reporter, head to ProduceBlueBook.com and sign up. You'll get our daily news and analysis uh, backed by business information from Blue Book Services. See ya.